Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited about today's video because I have the newest release by Fragrance Dubois. My package of lovers literally just got dropped off about five minutes ago and I quickly filmed an unboxing and I have not even smelled it yet so I'm very excited to tell you guys my first impressions on this new release. Fragrance Dubois has been teasing this one for like the last couple weeks and I was very very intrigued when they finally released the note listing. It sounded so delicious and so good. This is the third fragrance release in their lovers collection and I am a huge fan of Cavort and Secret Tryst so they're some of my favorites from Fragrance Dubois in general so I was really excited when they announced a third edition which is lovers so I feel like I just need to jump into it and show you guys the fragrance so the packaging is pretty standard on all their products so it just comes with an outer box but the magic is with the display box that it comes with. I'm sure you guys have all seen it before. It's the epitome of luxury. It's just gorgeous, so high quality. And I love that it's small and compact enough to where it's not using a lot of unnecessary materials, but at the same time, you have something really nice that will display your product. So opening it up, the perfume is just in this gorgeous red silk bed. I am just so excited about this because I love everything about this. Like, I don't know, sometimes I get suckered into the marketing <laughs> and there's just something about this red bottle with the name Lovers. It's very intriguing to me. I mean, look at this bottle. It is just gorgeous. So this is a perfume that was crafted for lovers. It's said to encapsulate the unbridled joy of romantic encounters. Very interesting. As interesting as the whole meaning behind it. It also has a very interesting note breakdown. So in the top we have bergamot ginger, a plum note with some passion fruit. Already, just from the opening of this, it's like, hmm, what is going on in here? And then in the mid it has jasmine, rose, saffron, patchouli, sandalwood, and vetiver. And my first initial thought is, it sounds like it might be kind of similar to Cavort. I'm wondering if it's like a mixture of the two that are already created. I have no idea. <laughs> I have not sprayed it yet, so let's spray it on the strip and on the skin and do a little first impression. So Lover starts on the Fragrance Dubois website for 285 euros for 100 ml. Wow, that is so good. So delectable. Very, very, very sexy, sultry. The saffron mixed with the fruitiness. That's just amazing. I'm really impressed just by the opening. So this is an extrait de parfum. Is it really justifiable for the price? I can't really say that at this point, but um, personally, I love the House of Fragrance Dubois. They have such amazing quality products. I was actually reading up on their website while I was looking for the price of this, and it says that they source all of their oils sustainably all around the world. So that is something that they care about in their company mission is to have sustainable products. And I think I also read something about they have all their own oils in house to protect the product formulations. So you have a lot more quality control and not as many reformulations going on. So I think that 285 euros is not bad for 100 ml extra de parfum with this beautiful scent. They also say this is a unisex fragrance that is meant to be shared with your partner. And so pour on pour femme, it says it on the plaque here at the bottom. I can definitely see it being something that you would share with your partner. There's feminine aspects in here with the fruitiness and the florals, but also there's something that a man could easily wear. Something about the spice, the saffron, the woodiness in the base. It just really makes it work for anyone. It's a very intoxicating, gorgeous scent just off the top of my head because i i know that some people said that they think that it might smell like cavort i feel like this is a less leathery version of cavort i think the whole collection kind of shares similarities i think that secret tryst is a little it's spicier it's warmer and then cavort has a little bit of fruitiness and some brightness in the top but there's a lot of dimension there with a lot of like leathery vibes, a lot of woodiness too. This to me is a little bit brighter than Cavort. You really get the beautiful plum and that passion fruit. Passion fruit is such a fun note. Pretty sweet, but it's not like a overly sweet, cloying, syrupy sweet. It's like a very natural, sweet vibe. And the florals in this are just, it's beautiful. 
on my skin, more of that saffron is coming through versus on the strip, I'm getting a little more of that fruitiness in the top, but on my skin, I'm getting more of the spice, the ginger, the saffron. A little bit of woodiness too. It doesn't have that like labdanum leather vibe that Cavort has for sure. I'm not really getting a ton of the earthy aspects to this, the vetiver, the patchouli yet. Maybe it'll come through as it dries, but we'll have to see. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous scent, guys. I am just blown away. It's even better than I was expecting. There's so much beautiful, like, roundness from the spiciness here. Like, you know, I love sweet scents. I love fruity fragrances, but I prefer to have my fragrance done exactly like this. I love to have the fruity aspects. Like, it's just so perfectly blended in a way that you can smell everything, but it's not choppy or like rough. It's very smooth, very well blended, but you can pick out the fruitiness. You feel the fruitiness, you feel the florals, and you also feel that amazing, like, dimensional spice. It's just stunning. Ginger and fragrances, it's just amazing. Mixed with the saffron, this is an absolutely stunning fragrance. This is just my first reaction to it. I literally filmed an unboxing and then I just sprayed it for the first time. This goes way beyond my expectations, honestly. I am just, wow, I can't stop smelling it. It is beautiful. It is a, just based off of my first impression, I'm thinking that it might be a little bit more feminine versus cavort, but I think it could also be one of those things that like, you have to test it on your skin. Sometimes with different fragrances, depending on the pH of the person and their hormones and their chemistry, different notes shine brighter. Like on a man, the woodiness and the spice might come out a little bit more versus on me, you get more florals, but I still get a lot of this spice on my skin. It's not a lot of fruitiness. The fruitiness on my skin, I can feel the plum, but I feel like the fruity notes on my skin, it really just helps support everything else. Spicier, kind of woodier florals. Really, really stunning. Wow, this is a gorgeous perfume. And I'll have to do some more testing on it. Obviously, I'm going to film like an updated full review on the performance, my thoughts on it as I've spent more time with it. But just this moment is like, this is heavenly. Would I say that this is blind buy worthy? I feel like this is a pretty appealing, mass appealing scent. I don't think that anyone is going to dislike this. If you are familiar with the notes and you know your personal taste in perfumes and you like the sound of these notes, I think this is easily a blind buy save fragrance. I mean, 285 euros is a lot of money to be blind buying a fragrance, but if you can get a sample of it, that would be of course ideal. You can wait for it to hit the stores. I already know I'm going to be so addicted to this. This is just such a vibe. The bottle, the color, everything is just fantastic. The perfume itself is amazing. I know that sometimes we all get suckered into like packaging and <laughs> presentation, but it's just the best feeling in the world when the presentation matches the smell. You know what I mean? Like it's just, it's the whole package guys. This is the whole package. Wow, this is amazing. I can't even say anything else about it. Like I'm kind of dumbfounded. It's so good. Guys, this is a winner. This is a winner. I am so happy about this. Wow, wow, wow. I think I could also see this being worn year round. I think it's, like I said, it's the perfect blend of everything. There's that sweet fruitiness that I think would make this work in the summer with the florals. I think that there's enough depth and dimension here that you could wear this in the fall, winter, spring if you really wanted to. I think that this is like the perfect year round fragrance. This might be the ultimate signature scent. I don't know. I'm gonna have to spend more time with it, test it out, see the longevity, what the projection's like, how many compliments do I get when I go outside wearing this. Definitely, I'm very interested to find out. So I'm gonna be filming an updated review on this fragrance at a later time. I am beyond impressed with this. Amazing job. Kudos to you, Fragrance Dubois, for putting out another amazing release. It's just fantastic. If you can get your hands on a bottle, it is 100% worth it. I love this. I'm spraying it all over me now. <sighs> Someone count how many sprays I just did, because it was a lot. <laughs> so that's my video, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a comment below what you think about this new fragrance release. Are you interested in trying it? Are you enticed by the note breakdown? I would love to know your thoughts and opinions. What do you think about Fragrance Dubois? What is your favorite from the house? Leave a comment below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.